Boogie2988 has had a long and very controversial history on YouTube, and many people cite his divorce with his wife as the moment where things truly started to go downhill for him. Boogie would lose half of his savings and start getting desperate, throwing a lot of his money into crypto and losing it like an idiot. And since then, Boogie's love life has been very chaotic, with him resorting to borderline illegal methods of finding love, and he's been accused of being abusive to these girls that he was basically paying to be his girlfriends. And it looks like now, Boogie has decided to take a page out of Keemstar's book and start dating 20 year olds who just got out of high school. Anyway, this video was streamed live, so if you guys want to catch my live streams, be sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel. Boogie2988. As you know, he's a, he's a long time youtuber well loved or well he was he used to be well loved and respected but in recent years he's just kind of become a low cow like a lot of people just dislike him and honestly i think a lot of the reasons are just unjustified i think people are far too hard on boogie and i i think they they go at his throat like way too much for like, the dumbest shit imaginable and i just think people will take any possible excuse that they can to go at him and he's had some health issues recently he fought wings of redemption but that was cool you know respect to him for, for getting in the ring and, and, and doing something like that but uh his new recent controversy is you know i think this is one where i i don't think i can uh i can back i don't think i can back him on this one because this shit this shit's just weird okay this it's it, it's kind of creepy so recently bookie 2988 has been um, he's been teasing his new girlfriend, you know, do, doing doing like a like a Marvel, like a like a Smash Bros reveal here, because this is like this is really really crazy for him, you know. Retweet this if you want to meet my girlfriend in a video soon. Now, at first, you know, people are just kind of like, uh, this is a bit cringe, but okay, whatever. And then he uh, he he did he he did the official reveal. He revealed who the girlfriend is. Now, I just want to say, Boogie is like he's almost fifty. He is almost fifty years old. Let me actually. Let me actually look up his age because I don't actually know. Let me see. Yeah, Boogie is 49 years old. He's 49. My one and only tweet about my age. She's an adult. She's 20. I'm older. But look at me, man. I'm fat, old, and ugly as sin. When an adult woman I get along with wants to give it a shot, I'm gonna do the smart thing and give it a shot. If you can't handle that, tell your therapist. I mean, I'm just gonna say, that just looks weird, okay? Like, that just, th that just looks wrong. She could almost be his granddaughter. 50 years old. She doesn't even look 20. She looks 16. And like, it just keeps getting worse from here. Now, I'm just gonna say this, okay? It's legal, all right? She's, she's an adult. She can make her own goddamn decisions. She's 20. You know, I still I, I still think that age dynamic is weird. That's a that's a 30 year difference 30 years Okay, that's 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 a that's a huge insane age gap But she is an adult and it's not it's not illegal technically but like on a moral level I mean, I don't know. It's it's just kind of weird But that's I mean, that's really all, all all I can say about that But it it just keeps getting like worse and worse and worse Like the more he posts about her the more he talks about her the more he reveals about this relationship The worse and worse it gets because he's like he's really giddy to, to like share this with everyone half of his posts like since this reveal have all been been about him and his and his and, and his new 20 year old girlfriend i mean like this shit it just writes itself not a great angle we snacking is this better or creepier like he knows it's creepy he knows it's creepy it just it just it just gets worse and worse and worse Okay. We've been trying for three months. Then you finally schedule a meeting when we were spending her summer break at Myrtle Beach. So she's in school. She she's on her summer break right now, and he's picking her up. So Wings of Redemption tried to set up, set up a podcast with Boogie, but he couldn't make it because he was picking up his girlfriend from school. I mean, dude, that's just so weird. Cause he's just like desperately posting about her. I mean, this isn't a bad picture. This one, this one actually isn't bad. But 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 but, but like he just he just keeps posting about it over and over and over and and, and over again. We rode a Ferris wheel on a skyscraper. It's not like I'm rocking the thing or anything. Ah! 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 I just heard ah. break. Oh no! Ah! Why are you freaking out? It's not, it's not like- What do they even have in common, you know? Like, what do they talk about on a day-to-day -day basis? What do they do? It's not like I'm rocking the thing or anything. Ah! No. Ah! 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 I just heard ah. break. Oh no! So this is how they met. All right, this is the story of how Boogie met his new girlfriend. Okay, well that's one of them shit. 
That's not the the, the story. Let me see if I can, I, cause he, he made several tweets about how they met. How far do I have to scroll back to find this? Wait, is he making himself look fatter in these pictures? The heck? Or is this from when he originally met? Could be on camera. Y'all, I'm gonna come clean. I knew the way we revealed we were dating was gonna freak people out. I wasn't a fan, but someone doxxed her and tried to spread it. So we did our way instead. I know clue people would be so upset truly, nor did we expect the support. It's a weird position trying to keep your relationship private because you know it's best for her. Having that stolen by someone with bad motives. It's even weirder trying to figure out the best way to handle that. I'm certain I could have done a better job. At least it's over now. I mean, I sympathize with that. That's like fucked up. All right, that's really fucked up. If people are like blackmailing him and like threatening her, trying to dox her and shit, that's obviously not okay. And I will say Boogie, he gets he gets too much harassment from, from people. And it's like, it's really fucked up. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. So this is the backstory, all right? This is how Boogie met this girl. She wrote me on Insta. We talked about our trauma in our past. Both were doing therapy around that time and both worked to heal ourselves. We found out we were on the same path together. And one day she said she had feelings. We decided to explore that. Now we're here, which um just sounds really creepy. That just sounds weird. So like you both got trauma and you're both talking about your trauma and you're both like trauma dumping and inventing to each other and then this girl who's like more than half your age almost two like you're you're almost double her age actually no no you are double her age you're you're over double her age and and and, and then you you get together and, and this is the the initial dm stay strong boogie heart thank you i absolutely love and appreciate your content boogie the good in the bad well as one of my few female viewers i really appreciate it and that's uh that's how that's that's how the relationship started and you know now they're they're hanging out with the uh, kid behind a camera they're, they're hanging out with uh with him our first movie with kid behind a camera oppenheimer bombs now i just want to say this is ironic because uh if you don't know kid behind a camera started dating his wife when she was a minor i think he was uh i don't remember the exact ages let me look this up okay holy fuck dude no Okay, that's actually really bad. I didn't, I didn't really, like, this is in the, this is in the official Kid Behind a Camera wiki, too. Bridget met Michael in November 18, 2008, when she was 15, and Michael was 21. She had told Michael she was 19, and he had been with her for a few years when he found out her true age during her birthday. So, like, okay, at this point, yeah, she's the one who, like, fucked up, lied about her age or whatever. But, like, a few years, I'm guessing when she was, like, 16, 17 or something, told her her age, and they, they, like, they stayed together. They, they, they still got married. That's just some that's some weird white trash shit. That's all that's all I'm saying. They're all just they're all just kind of weird people, honestly. Boogie has just kind of been he's just been in a lot of shit, gotten a lot of drama, lots of controversies, and he's always just kind of like anytime he's in any sort of drama, he just plays the like pity card over and over and over again. Oh, woe is me. Oh uh god, I I hate this, I hate that. And he's just he's constantly giving into the trolls, just responding to them constantly, 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 constantly. He's like lied about things several times. Um, he's just been a fence sitter when he shouldn't have been. And it's just like, it's just a long history of like this, this kind of annoying behavior that's just like bottled up uh, on top of each other more and more and more and more and more. And that's basically it. That's, that's just kind of the gist of, of why people don't like Boogie. You know, he constantly talks about changing or, or wanting to change and says, oh, I've changed now. I'm going to change. And he never changes ever he just he's it's just the same shit from him over and over and over again and he he doesn't change he also like begs for money from his fans which i mean i guess that's okay but but he's also like he risked his money by putting it into crypto and it crashed and he lost all his money. So then he had to beg his fans for money. And that just puts like a sour taste in people's mouths. They're just like, dude, like you fucked up. You lost all your money because you were dumb. Why should your fans have to pay for that shit? You know, that's basically the, the issues that people have with him.